just touched a spider web. Okay. Hello, my name is Maria, and today I'm giving up. Okay, I just turned 25, and for whatever reason, that's like a big deal or something. I don't know why, I don't really have any more rights. Like, I can already vote, I can already drink alcohol. My car insurance payment should go down, and I can like rent cars without a massive fee. So, I guess that's acceleration. But for some reason, we value the age 25. I guess it just sounds like a landmark or a milestone. 25 is like the speed limit of many residential areas in the United States, so maybe that's why we celebrate it. Anyway, so in honor of turning 25, becoming a like fully fledged adult, my brain is fully developed now, according to, you know, science. I've just decided there's some things I want to give up in my life. I'm just going to get rid of, I'm going to give up and not feel bad about. Um, so without further ado, here we go. Now, the first thing I'm giving up, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of sad about this, but I have my reasons. The first thing I'm giving up, I'll be giving up high heel shoes. Now, this one does hurt me because I think they're super cute. They make me look amazing, as do, like, pretty much anyone that wears high heel shoes. You just, like, look amazing. And this woman keeps walking past me, and her dogs are cute, but ma'am, I'm filming the Let's just stay away from the girl in the park with a camera talking to herself. Thank you. So anyway, high heels. I love them. However, they make me so uncomfortable. Like, I, it, to the point where I cannot walk. And like, sure, high heels are never like comfortable. But it, it's, it's not worth it to me anymore to suffer my work days when I need to be, you know, my brain needs to be all there. But I'm like focused on how much pain my feet are in. So yes, an unfortunate loss, I will admit. Maybe one day when I'm really rich, I'll be able to afford a pair that fit me or like get them custom made so that they're like actually comfortable and will just cost, you know, the same as two months rent, but that'll be worth it. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna give up on high heels. I've tried them, so sorry. It's done, I'm, I'm over it. Ooh, you know what? I need to order my food real quick, and by the time this I'm done filming, I'll be able to go pick it up. Whoa, whoa. Now that we've got that out of the way, okay, the next thing I'm giving up, since I'm 25 and I'm an adult, I am no longer going to be responding to any question that starts with, what's your favorite and dot dot dot. I hate this question no matter what it is. What's your favorite color? Well, okay. Color is like the only one I can confidently answer and that's pink. But what's your favorite movie? What's your favorite song? What's your favorite uh, food? What's your favorite like thing to wear? No one asks that one. I'm just over it. Like sure, I have like my answers that I give and they're like mostly true but there's too many good things to like pick one favorite and it depends what mood I'm in so like we're just not answering those questions do not ask me them be more specific be more creative I don't have time for your lame questions I just realized I'm not wearing any lipstick I'm so sorry to disappoint both you and myself okay so the next thing I'm giving up is meat now this one's kind of a cheat so for the past like two years I've been like vegetarian like 98 percent of the times um so 2020 happened and this summer i'm just really sad about a lot of things because everything's canceled so i was like you know what this summer already sucks so we're just going to eat some meat and be fine about it and um just like cheat i guess you can't really cheat being a vegetarian that's my opinion that's my opinion but anyway, so I like had some chicken stuff, um, nothing crazy. Um, I just, it ain't it. I originally gave it up because eating vegetarian and vegan is way better for the environment, which, you know, we're all burning the world. It's, it's fine. It's happening very quickly. So it was like most concrete and best way I could cut down on my carbon footprint and help the planet at least a little bit was to give up meat. So like I don't have anything ethically against eating meat, which is why I tried some more this summer. And it was like good. There are some things I miss. Stupid things like carnitas at Chipotle. Well, carnitas generally, but that's where I had it at. And like it was good. It was a, it was fun to indulge in some of the things I've been missing. But you know what? It didn't make me feel great. Like not the worst, but the taste of meat. It just like. 
there's so many better options. I think I'm gonna like stick to it this time for like the long haul. No more meat. Like that carryout I just ordered, um, vegan schnitzel. I know, I know. My German ancestors are rolling in their graves. It's just easy to eat vegetarian. It's easy to eat vegan, especially where I live in the city. Now this next one, um, let's be honest, I've kind of been doing this for a while now, kind of. I'm giving up resisting the urge to get coffee at a coffee shop. Now, am I fully capable of making coffee at home? Absolutely, and it's great not to toot my own horn. Is it way more cost effective to do it at home? Absolutely. However, there are times, some weeks more than others, where you just want to buy coffee, you don't want to make it, or sometimes you want that good good, like the extra sugary, or just like, you know how whatever place you love just like makes that iced coffee with soy milk just perfect? Um, so I'm gonna just give in to those cravings. I'm an adult, I have a stable income. Next. I have a job. Ooh. It's not an unhealthy habit. It's not the most expensive habit. It's not a big deal. I'm not gonna feel guilty when I wanna get Starbucks or whatever. So, yep, 25. We're not gonna feel guilty about buying coffee. Okay, last thing I'm giving up since I've turned 25 and I'm doing what I want. This is probably going to be my most controversial thing I'm giving up. I'm giving up fruit. Well, more specifically, I'm giving up trying to like fruit. I do not like fruit. I'm a veggie girl, love vegetables, veggies over fruit any day of the week. I've been trying to like fruit because it's like healthy or whatever and it's like sweet. First of all, do not trust anyone that says you can replace your dessert with some fruit. Not the same, nope, not even close, does not satisfy that sweet tooth craving. Just eat the regular dessert. I'm not a fruit stand, sorry. I eat fruit occasionally on its own, but then I'll buy it and it goes bad. And then I waste my money and then I feel bad. And like, I'm just not gonna force myself to like something that I don't. Do not worry about my health. I will be okay. Tomatoes are fruit, right? I love tomatoes. Um, watermelon's okay. It's everything on occasion. But I'm just not gonna buy it because I'm gonna like just snack on fruit. Who do I think I am? I know myself. That's not going to happen. I'm gonna get fruit flies. Things are gonna start getting mushy and disgusting and I'm just gonna throw it in the garbage. 25, we're just done trying to like fruit. Sorry, everyone that loves fruit, Please continue to love and eat fruit. I appreciate you, but I'm a veggie girl all the way. Okay, well, I think that wraps it up. That's all the things I'm giving up for now. <laughs> we'll see how the rest of this year goes. I might just give up generally. Let me know if there's anything that you are also gonna give up. I highly encourage it. You're not a failure, just like being honest with yourself. I think that's really cool. And that's what I'm trying to do here is just be honest with myself and live my life and be happy. But yeah, let me know if you are gonna give up anything or if there are things you relate to and maybe I inspired you to like, you know, just give your high heels to charity or something. This was fun. I have to go pick up my vegan schnitzel now. So I hope you have a great day. Catch you in the next video.